we wanted to get to the table. That's, the, that's our goal was to make the beer that would please the fans, be a great beer, and to make it to the table. What we do is we allow home brewers, local home brewers in the San Diego area, uh, to bring in their beer. Everybody that attends the membership rally gets to vote on those beers. We tally up the votes during the middle of the rally and then take the top five beers and we pick the one that we want to brew. We're thrilled to be brewing this beer here at Stone Brewing Company. It is beer number 28, the Coconut IPA. I think it was probably back in October we started to discuss what that might be and that kind of led to the idea of like a pina colada and IPA form and uh, we just went from there and decided okay let's team up and, and give this a try and do separate batches and see uh, if it's even possible. It's always nice to see the guys, the new people coming in and see their enthusiasm. Everyone's been great and helpful in explaining all the different processes, what this piece does and why they do that and it's been great. I mean the opportunity to to brew on a 120 barrel system. It's really helped me become a better brewer doing this collaboration for sure. And it's fun to be able to give props to people that are great home brewers. Uh, you know a lot of us here started out as home brewers or have done a lot of home brewing so we get it. Every week we put on a, a different beer from the pilot brewery for the tasting room. Uh, we're, we're both definitely still home brewers at heart. concept came together and we tasted the initial, it's like we can do this, we can make, we can improve on our initial batch and we're like, we have something here. It was an absolutely wonderful beer, just incredible uh, the way they, the amount of coconut and how well that played with the hops. It was, uh, it was quite different and quite unique and we thought it'd be a fun challenge to try and brew it. We wanted the freshest beer, you know, great hop aroma, great hop flavor and coconut on the finish. Like a pina colada in IPA form. You know, the intent was to get this melange of, of tropical fruit flavors in the, in the beer. We picked uh, Belma and Helga, which are two, two tropical fruity hops that are new on the scene. We wanted to complement that with well-known hops that we knew would be are fantastic hops. You know, we picked Amarillo, you know, which has kind of a mango-y kind of character. And we also used some Centennial to get some lemon. It smells like a pina colada in some, some aspects, but there's definite hop character there as well. So you know it's an IPA. You know, when I first got this glass, I was getting more of the hops. Now as the beer warms up, I'm getting more of the coconut. And, and so that's kind of an interesting dynamic. So you definitely want to enjoy this one quickly if you can. It's just got that tropical goodness, you know, that makes it perfect for this time of year. With the home brewing element in there, you get an extra added element of creativity or out-of-the-box thinking that you don't always get.